Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. As we told you at the top of the show, it is National Nacho Day. And you know our favorite spot is the Soda City Live Kitchen. So here to help us celebrate and give us some ways at home that you can load those nachos up and make it a tasty treat is Chef Chris Williams with Royals, Roy's Grill in Irmo. Welcome back to the show. Thank you guys for having me. How we are appreciate you? it um, because before we jump into that, we have to let the people know the World Championship mm -hmm. food competition that we've been talking about for a few months now mm -hmm. when you've been on the show is actually happening tomorrow. No, actually, it starts on the well, 9th. you're flying out I'm tomorrow. I'm flying out tomorrow. So the fact that yeah. you're here and you mm -hmm. got such a busy schedule ahead of you, yeah. we appreciate that yeah, because yeah. I know you are probably already packed up, hopefully. No. No, not yet. No. <laughs> and ready to go. No. You could have been spending your time doing that, but here you are. You guys mean so much us. to me, though. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it. You're no here problem. to show us how we can celebrate National Nacho Day. Yes, I, I know am. that on the Specials at Roy's Grill. Mm -hmm. You serve some um, brisket nachos, and you're here to show us yeah. how you load those up. Yeah, I'm here to show you guys what in-house we do. We mm -hmm. do a pulled pork nacho. We have a black and chicken nacho, and then for our special, sometimes we'll do a brisket nacho. So nice. I'm here today. So disregard my Mitch Match gloves, but I'm here today it's to okay. show you guys how we put it together. So we have our in-house smoked brisket mm -hmm. that we start off good. with. It is good. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got something for you. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. We start off with our in-house chips. We fry our chips ourselves. We season them ourselves with our own spice rub. We put a healthy amount of uh, whether it be blackened chicken, whether it be pulled pork, mm -hmm. whether it be brisket. Sometimes I might do like a jerk quail. It just depends on what we have a going on. A jerk quail. Yeah, sometimes I have not we, had that before. That sounds amazing. Sometimes we play with it and have a little fun. I had a jerk quail special last week. You missed really? it. Really? I missed I'll, it. I'll bring it back. Don't okay. Yeah, that sounds good. We put some of our in-house made barbecue sauces on it. Let me tell y'all. The barbecue sauce, I actually need to, to get some more bottles because... I got you. Your sauces are amazing. They are a hit in my household for hey, sure. They go with everything. Tell America. <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. Tell America. So, and I like the fact that everything is made from scratch everything. with you. Yeah, everything. even the chips. The sauces, the chips, the, the, chips the sauce. We make the sauce ourselves. This mm -hmm. does not come out of a can. Everything wow. in our restaurant has a recipe to it. So, Chef, how did you perfect making your own ingredients? Well, I tell you what, if mm -hmm. you mess it up enough, you'll eventually get it right. You'll get it right, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be taking some yeah. of this talent and knowledge all the way to Dallas. All the way to Dallas. For the World Championship competition. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that, how you got involved, and what will you be cooking during the well, competition? Well, the World Food Championships is the largest food sport competition in the world. Mm -hmm. um, every year we have, we host an event here called um, the, uh, no, nah, what is it, uh, Every year we have a um, event called the Taste of Lake Murray. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and the winners of the Taste of Lake Murray they go on to compete in the World Food Championships and represent South Carolina. Okay. So I got uh, fifth in the world last year, and that got me an automatic bid to come back. Nice. So this year at the competition, um, we were competing to find who was going to be the second and third member of the team. So wow. I got involved last year. I won, not won, but I placed in the top ten. I'll be Out back of this how year. many people? Uh, they, well, I, I don't know exactly how many people were there last year, but in yeah. my category, there were 30. Wow. This year, total in the competition is going to be about 450 teams from about 40 states and 10 countries. That is nice. Yeah, and you're, and you are mm -hmm. standing out. How does that make you feel to know that you've worked so hard and to be recognized on a international national stage like the one you will be i mean it's an honor um yeah it's an honor we work hard at what mm -hmm. we do and to be recognized and noticed for it i mean it's an honor and a pleasure um and i can't do it myself i got to give a shout out to my team back at roy's everybody that helps me um Deshaun, anaya shandrika mm -hmm. um jada kid carl my whole staff and there's some people i left out i'm sorry but my yeah. whole staff so it makes me proud to represent myself, my state, my uh, my company, and my employees, man. Do you know what you're going to be cooking? Yes, yeah. I am. It's, it's called the Nanny Rose. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, I'm in the uh, sandwich category. Okay. And our theme this year is Thanksgiving for the opening round. Nice. So I'm going to do an open face sandwich. The base is going to be a uh, Thanksgiving theme whole cake. And what a whole cake is is pretty much like a grilled like a, a grilled cornbread. You right. make it almost like a uh, like a pancake. Right. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I'm going to put a sweet potato puree. Then I'm going to do a cranberry jam, um, a fried turkey cutlet, some uh, gravy, and some. Uh, I'm going to thinly slice some um, collard greens. We're going to flash fry them, season them up, and that'll be my garden. That sounds good. Um, we want to see all the pictures mm -hmm. and whatever videos you can send back to us on Soda mm -hmm. City Live so we can show it. But also tell people how they can stay in touch with you so we can see okay. when the announcement 
comes out that you're the winner. And while you're telling us that, I'm going to taste dig this. Dig in, dig yeah. in. All right, well, you can find me at um, Chef Chris Williams SC on Instagram. Um, you can mm. find me at Roy's Grill on Instagram. Uh, actually, Roy's Grill on all social media. We are in Irmo, 7971 North Woodrow Street, Suite 5. Um, and we also are doing some, uh, some awesome and amazing holiday specials. We do turkeys every year. We do holiday packages. If you know family that's in need, we, offer, we have a sponsorship program for you to come in, donate food. Oh, nice. Um, or even just buy a package to donate to a family. If you don't have a family that you can identify, then we can identify a family of need that we can provide food for. That's something we've been doing now for the past four or five years. So Serving the yeah. community, giving mm -hmm. back to the community. We appreciate that. And when that's it comes closer, about around that time you can send us that info again so we can we make do. sure to share it with our we viewers y'all the nachos are on point now i know this is probably on the lower end of mm -hmm. the uh, amazing food that you made because mm -hmm. it's, it's something simple so i'm looking I mean, forward to you bringing home that one this is this is great a everything lot of the tastes best good. foods are simple you know mm -hmm. the seasoning complicated and make it fun and do a little brisket. bit more but i mean it's just about food is just about building flavors having fun yeah and just like camaraderie with your family, your friends, you know, every event. Oh, you can event, make nachos taste so good. Yeah, every major <laughs> event has food surrounding it, so, you know. Well, congratulations in advance. We know that you're going to do well. well this tastes you, great. Thank it you. looks great. And we will be rooting for you all the way back here at home in Columbia. And we're going to share the info <laughs> with you one more time. My producer has been putting this full screen up. So here we go <laughs> one more time so that you can stay in touch with Chef Chris Williams from Roy's mm -hmm. Grill. All the information right there on your screen. Make mm -hmm. sure that you support. And again, we will be supporting you all the way from here in Dallas, Texas. We're going Thank to take a quick so break. Much. much more Soda City Live after this. Yes.